you know, this year was different. Sure, there were things that were the same, but how could you miss the changes? What about hanging with friends at Friday night football games in Don Bree Stadium? Remember cheering on the Rangers from the cold metal bleachers? Hey, boys, don't forget about all the planning just to ask the prettiest girl to homecoming. Did she say yes? And all the key club members who volunteered for the annual Empty Bowl Dinner, LPES Winter Carnival, and the Antique Show, college apps, check. You prayed your 8th period teacher would take you to see Mr. Clark's improv show to get out of doing math work. There's nothing better than eating a concrete ice cream treat at Freddy's with your friends after home girls soccer games. And wasn't Senior Skip Day planned on a black day so no one missed Odie's English 4 classes? Phew. Big or small, the year was full of things that shouldn't be overlooked. It's something that just couldn't be missed. So, you really think you know everything that happened this year? Did you know, before the first Friday night home football game, your friends gathered to throw neon powder at the color bash? Or, that we had a fiesta-themed homecoming dance you could talk about with all your friends? And how about when the boys' soccer team welcomed back Major League Soccer star Bobby Burling to retire his very own LP soccer jersey, number 19? Can you imagine the heartache the French club felt from 4,911 miles away because of the bombings in Paris? Bet you didn't know Mr. Smith turned 50 this year, so hopefully you were there to help decorate. Hope you were there to see the girls' swim and dive team defeat Cheyenne Mountain in a close 94-92 victory. Another thing. The boys' baseball team spent a day with terminally ill children, and their only goal was to make them smile. Out of all the things that happened during the year, did you miss any? So, you really think you know everyone? If you weren't there to watch, Nick Pavlik broke two records this year at an away football game against Canyon City. Also, Amber Metalis has her advanced open water certification. So, if you ever need scuba diving lessons, make sure you ask her. And did you know Connor Witt competes in motocross races all over the country in places like Wyoming, Utah, Texas, and Arizona? Next time you get in a fight, you probably don't want it to be against Emily Hoffman. She has her second degree black belt. Yikes. Can you believe Mr. Larry Klaus is a professional photographer? And isn't it cool he used to shoot for the Rockies? One last thing you might not know. Natalie Faber has a little brother with autism, and she could not love her life with him more. Out of all the 1,185 people, 42 clubs, 23 sports, and 95 classes, what are you going to miss most? Write it in your journal or document it on your Instagram. Do whatever you need to remember this year and all the things that happened. We all hated waking up at 6 a.m. just to get to class on time, yet we did it day after day. Remember all those assemblies when someone's knees poked in your back for 45 minutes? After the killer track practices, do those extra relay handoffs every day help you in the long run? No pun intended. Were the Wednesdays that you stayed after school to help Green Club pick up recycling really that bad now that you look back? Always remember, if someone from the school up north tries to bash on our school, you just ask them if their volleyball team went to the state finals four years in a row. The answer is no. As the year comes to a close, did you say goodbye to your friends and your favorite teachers that are leaving forever? Trust me, you're going to want to remember it all because you don't want to miss this.